Greetings, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Pastor Emeritus, Reverend Ron L. Spratley of Covenant of Grace Ministries. We've been in our eschatology series. We've been talking about the doctrine of last things. In this series, we've been talking about the second coming of Christ. This is part four. We've been dealing with the signs of Christ's second coming. We've talked about one apostasy, turning away from the faith. Number two, we've talked about deception and the appearance of the Antichrist. We've talked about betrayal. Okay, and on the betrayal, we talked about how relationships would be falling apart. And today we're going to be talking about global strife, global strife, famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. Our main scripture for today is going to come from Matthew 24 and 7. It says, for nation shall rise against nation. This is the global or international strife we've been talking about. And kingdom against kingdom. Okay. And there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning, only the beginning of sorrows. So let's go into our bullet po points. The acceleration of global strife is here. Wars and rumors of wars. Okay. International conflict. Division on every front. When I'm talking about division on every front, I'm talking about even the family, within the family, institution of the family, the church, politics, government. Everywhere we look, we can find division. It's already here. Famine, okay? Famine is an acute lack of food, a growing lack of everything that gives meaning to life. We often talk about famine, we, we think about food, but famine can be both physical as it relates to food, and it can be also a spiritual famine in the land where people are not grounded or anchored in Bible doctrine. So I want you to look at both of these. This is just not a lack of physical food, this famine. This famine is also a lack of spiritual nourishment for the hearts and minds of the people. Okay, pestilence is deadly. Okay, an overwhelming disease that affects the entire community. So we've seen some of this already. Okay, famine and pestilence works together. The lack of what food weakens the body, and it makes it more susceptible, susceptible to what daily disease. So I want you to see how both famine, pestilence work together. Okay, it's lack of food will weaken your immune system and make you more susceptible to disease. Let's look at our key principle, Revelation six. Five through six. All right. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see, and behold, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of what balances in his hands. In other words, a pair of scales. You know, in, in economics, in the economy, we weigh everything with scale. So this black horse is representing the economic times we're going to be in, okay? And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, and a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see that they're not, that they're not hurt, the oil and the wine. So this is, the beginning of famine, inflation is a leading runner. So this is telling us about how prices are going to be increasing as this famine is ushered in and we enter and we begin to see these signs. 
My brothers and sisters, I want to thank you once again for sharing some time with us this morning. May God bless you and keep you as we continue to study. We have opportunity to bring you another word. God bless.